before you leave the house, we want to make sure you get a proper meal. We're talking fast, fresh, and delicious. We're Mom and Dad. And this is your all-access pass to the hottest, spiciest, tastiest club in town. The, the Supper Club. Club. This episode of The Supper Club. We're going to be making chocolate souffles. And actually, I'm not going to be making it. Mom's going to be making it. We're going to teach you how easy it really is to make this dessert. All right, Mom, tell me what you know about chocolate souffles. All right, I did a deep dive the last five minutes. Souffles are a French dessert from the 1800s. They're one of the two top things that have ever come out of France. One, souffles. Two, DJ Snake. Mm. We're getting into souffles today. What does the word souffle mean? Souffle means to inflate. So we are going to be making a pastry cream with some egg whites and it's going to rise out of its ramekin which will then be beautiful, decadent, and delicious. To make a souffle, you're going to need flour, sugar, milk, butter, eggs, vanilla, chocolate, banana, orange, and strawberries. First thing is first, we're going to have to butter our cup. We're going to use our hands. You're going to take the butter, you're going to brush in an upward motion, and what that's going to do is that's going to allow the souffle while it's rising to hold those lines and kind of almost like guide it on the way up. All right, mom. Now we're gonna to need to add sugar. So what we're gonna do is add sugar, and then you put it, let it kind of fall back into the container in which you got it from. All right, mom. Now what we're gonna be doing next is making the pastry cream for the souffle. It's actually also very simple. All we're gonna need is butter, flour, eggs, sugar, and vanilla. All right, Dad. Tell us about our next step: the pastry cream. So pretty much it's just a custard and it's going to be our base for our souffle. So it's just milk, butter, flour, sugar, and vanilla bean. That's it. And then from there you can really transform it into whatever you want. And in today's episode we're going to be adding chocolate. We're going to start making the roux for our pastry cream. So we're going to have one tablespoon of butter. And we're going to melt that on nice and low heat. The reason why we don't want to heat it too fast is we do not want it to brown. I want it to just gently melt. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of flour and you're going to be whisking this in to incorporate it all. Again, you want to make sure that your heat is on low. You do not want to brown it. So now we add four and a third tablespoons of milk. So you're looking for it to be nice, creamy. So now all we have to do is melt this chocolate in a double broiler. It's filled about a third away with water. And that's the safest way to melt chocolate. All right, Mom, and now we're going to add orange zest. Okay, Mom, now that the chocolate's melted and we have the vanilla, we're going to add in our roux. And we're going to mix this together until it's fully incorporated. And now we're going to have a pinch of salt, a spoon of vanilla extract, one egg yolk. You mix it into there. All right, Mom, we have our ramekin buttered and sugared, roux cooked with our chocolate for our base. You want to make sure that it stays warm while you are making the rest of your souffle. So now we need to separate three eggs from the yolks and the whites. You want to make sure that you do not get any of the yolk in your egg whites or will not whip. Nice little crack right through your fingers. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do with your egg whites is first you're gonna whip, and then you're gonna nay-nay, in that order. Uh, yeah, essentially, you could look at it that way. So you pretty much wanna whip your egg whites first, then add your sugar. And it's super important, because it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna help stabilize all of your egg whites that you are whipping and trying to make into a meringue. Now we're gonna add our egg whites in slowly on low speed. We're going to turn it on high. Now that the egg whites are nice and frothy, we're going to add sugar to this. And this is going to make the meringue. Make sure we do this slowly on high speed. So now that the meringue is set, you should whip it to stiff peaks. All right, mom, so now we're gonna prepare the strawberries that are gonna go inside the souffle along with the bananas. All right, and then we're just going to dice. 
Mom, if you can get real fancy, you can stack them up, do chews. Triple stack. That's bite size. And now we're going to add our strawberries to our ramekin. Kind of place them all around the bottom. And the banana, I like to slice. With our bananas being nice and thin now, we're gonna lay them on the bottom. All right, mom, so now we have our meringue ready and we have our base, which is cooked uh, and it's slightly warm. There's chocolate in there. You don't wanna get it cold. So now we're going to add in a third, third of the meringue. So you wanna gently fold in your egg whites. You don't want to be too rough. Just gently fold them in. This mixture should be nice and light and fluffy. Now that the mixture is ready, we're going to pour in and cover up all of our fruit. We have our souffle and it is ready to be baked. We have one last little note that you need to do before we put it in there. You have to run your thumb right around the outside lip of it. And the reason why you want to do that is it's going to rise straight up. If you let it go here, it might kind of stick. So this is really going to help separate. And now we're going to put this in the oven here for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. You do not want to open your oven once it's going. You've got to let it be patient. Hope it works out. It's happening. You can see it's only been in the oven for two minutes and you can start to see it rising up. So I think we're going to have a nice souffle here. So the souffle is out of the oven. It's nice and risen. It's set up. It's got a good jiggle to it. And then we're gonna finish it. A little bit of powdered sugar. And dad here made himself a little bit of own glaze. And you're gonna pour right in. All right, mom, here we are. Headliner has showed up, and I would like to say that this one is a showstopper. Uh, this is one of the desserts that if you're trying to make things right at home, this is probably gonna do it. That's it? Just to, to make things right? What about to make things extra right? I'm too mom. So let me know what you think. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The orange comes through perfectly. Yeah. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. 